Thank you. And I want, first of all, to thank you all for this debate and so for your support for an independent investigation after the murder of the journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia. Justice needs to be done. The new commission is very clear on such a need. In the two first weeks in office, the president of the commission has sent a clear message to the Maltese authorities. We did the same in different phone calls from the Vice President Vajurova and myself to the Minister of Justice, Owen Bonishi, and I have sent a letter to the Minister of Justice yesterday. More than that, Europol is at the disposal of the Maltese authorities to take part in the investigations, and we have seen some progress in the investigation due to the presence also of Europol, and we will continue to follow the progress in the um, investigations. We need to do that, not only uh, for Daphne Caruana Galizia, for his family, but uh, to defend our values in the European Union. I want to say that the, the protection of the journalists, because I have heard many questions about that, is first of all, of course, a, a competence of the member states, but the Commission must take also some initiatives to support the media pluralism and to support also independent journalists at work in all the member states. And we'll continue to do that, and maybe we'll enhance our capacities to do that. Then we need to control a correct implementation of justice reforms after the country-specific recommendations adopted by the Council of 9 July 2019. In my letter, I have insisted on the independence of judiciary with safeguards for uh, judicial appointments and dismissals with a real separate prosecutor office. The Commission will present an evaluation on the process reform and propose concrete actions. The Commission has a toolbox to address rule of law concerns and we are ready to make use of it. I recall that the Commission did introduce infringement proceedings against Malta for non-transposition of the fourth anti-money laundering directive with success. As the situation evolves, we will consider which instruments are appropriate, including a possible application of the rule of law framework if it's needed. And of course, on about all those reforms, we encourage the Maltese authorities to consult the Venice Commission on all draft legislation. Third, about um, the um, investor citizenship uh, scheme. In the supranational risk assessment published in July 19, the Commission has highlighted that citizenship investment programs and investor residence schemes, also known as golden uh, passport and golden visas, entail a significant money laundering threat. The January 2019 Commission report on investor citizenship and residence schemes in the European Union highlights that their schemes inherently raise money laundering concerns. Awarding citizenship is a prerogative of the Member States. However, Member States must when exercising their powers in the sphere of nationality have due regard to European Union law. A European Union citizenship brings together rights to all member states providing solidarity. Together, member states create the conditions for enjoying EU citizenship. This common achievement should not be exploited by individual member states' risky investor schemes. We evaluate if a legislation is needed to fight against the abuse of golden passport and if we must introduce infringement proceedings. To conclude, we need to enhance the culture of the rule of law in all the member states in the European Union. And if we want to speak about the rule of law outside the European Union, it's needed to deliver, to do the job at home. It's the reason why the Commission 
will organize and will set up a new mechanism with an annual report on the rule of law in all the member states without any discrimination. It will be the occasion of a real political debate in the Council and also in the Parliament. We have uh, such a process about the budgetary situation of all the member states. It's time to have the same political debate about our values, about the values of the European Union. That doesn't mean the abandon of all the other tools at our disposal. We will continue to introduce infringement proceedings, to organize dialogue on the rule of law, to pursue the Article 7 procedures. And so, of course, it's an important moment today in this debate because we follow very closely the investigations about the murder of a journalist. But I want also to thank you for your support because we have a lot of things to do together to protect the rule of law, to defend our values. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Renders. Colleagues, we have one motion for resolution to wind up our debate from six political groups. Um, our debate is now closed and the vote will be held on Wednesday. And can I just say that as we conclude our debate on the murder of journalist Daphne Corona Galizia, let us salute the courage of her family, even though their hearts are broken. We now have a suspension for a few minutes until we vote at 12. Thank you.